Welcome back to That's Life with John Carver. This is episode number 341. And I called this episode, They Keep Rising Again. I'm constantly amazed by the people who keep getting back up when they get knocked down over and over and over again. They keep rising no matter how many moments come and go that tempt them to give up on life. My youngest daughter, Juliana, fought pediatric cancer eight times and never gave up. She never complained. I know of a young lady who was beaten and abused by a couple of quote-unquote men, and yet a few years later she keeps getting back up again and again and knowing that giving up is not an option. Today she's a mom of two young children who adore their mommy. She keeps rising again because of her children. I know of a man who has been turned down for more than 500 jobs. He continues to apply for jobs because giving up is not an option. Author Susie Kasem writes, quote, The true test of a warrior is how your stance holds up after any circumstance. Meaning even after the stormiest weather, a true warrior will still reflect the brilliant rays of the magnificent sun through both his or her eyes. You may get hit by a sudden lightning strike or take severe beatings from the cruel wind, but you will always get back up and stand strong on your feet again. Soak in the sunlight and be prepared to get hit by even the most merciless hail time and time again, unquote. What seems to be a strategic move by those who keep rising again is they get back up as soon as they fall down. They don't wallow in their failures. They don't soak in their mistakes. They don't focus on their struggles. What's essential in the lives of those who keep rising again is they stay away from negative people. They stay away from complainers. They stay away from unethical people because they know that those people will in time discourage them from continuing it to rise again and will force them by association to stay down when they get knocked down. A pattern for those who keep rising again is they remind themselves consistently why they must keep rising again. In some cases, their why is their family. In other cases, their why is to prove to those who have said they would fail that they will thrive even after multiple falls. There's a benefit to you of rising again. It is the impact you will have on the people all around you. It's been amazing to me how many people watch people from a distance. They peek in on the lives of some people and at times are amazed how some people can push through their horrible situations. It gives those peekers hope and inspiration to rise again after they've been knocked down over and over and over again. Royal Marine Bear Grylls said, quote, Don't let success go to your head or failure go to your heart. This can be tough for some people because no one likes to fail. So the most successful people all around the world and throughout history understand and have understood the power of leveraging mistakes and the power of rising again quickly, even after mistake after mistake and setbacks. Many years ago, I purchased a sign that reads, quote, no whining, unquote. The sign continues to hang in my office as a reminder to me. I'm not pretending that rising again is easy. In fact, it's torture for it's because some people it's very difficult. They remind themselves daily that staying down and giving up is far worse than pushing through the pain of rising again. Going backwards or staying down cannot be an option for you. Rise again and again and again and again. My name is John Carver. Thanks for watching.